there are constantly new discoveries across the world. With the advancements made in science and technology in the last 25 years, giving us the tools to decipher the secrets of the world much easier. These discoveries that are being made help us fill in gaps throughout history or understand a specific subject more. What's most exciting about something being discovered is that they completely change how we see and understand a topic. This is why it's so important to continue to strive to understand the Earth more and continue to keep making discoveries around the world. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting discoveries. Ancient Rock Discoveries One of the most strange recent discoveries involving ancient rock was made in around 2013. Scientists were examining ancient rock dug up during drilling. This rock was reportedly buried more than 850 feet under the sedimentary surface of the sea floor. The rocks found were volcanic, and to all the scientists' astonishment, upon breaking the rocks open, they found living microbes inside, which is truly amazing. They theorised that because the rocks were located just on the edge of a volcanic rift, because of this the rocks were still hot enough to continue to react with the seawater around them. It's from the energy created during these reactions that the microbes were able to get the energy they needed to continue to survive. Another discovery was made not too long ago, in which the same kinds of microbes were found still living inside a rock, however this one was different. It was understood that because of the heat and energy in and around the area of the first discovered microbes, but the question was why or how they were living. This new discovery was made inside a much older and colder rock in the South Pacific. Scientists are completely stumped as to how these organisms were living inside the rock, but the simple fact is they were. This offers up many more questions than answers. Another point to note is there were much more, millions more, microbes found in the newly discovered cold rock. As alluded to previously, these discoveries open up more questions than answers at this point. Are the rocks found in and around oceanic crust capable of supporting more kinds of life? What other kinds of microbes can be supported? Is there microbial life living throughout the crust itself? It's no secret there are very similar volcano structures across Mars, especially as it's believed that perhaps Mars once had a vast ocean. Could there still be life deep under the crust on Mars? The oldest rocks on Earth Nuvagitu Greenstone Belt found in 2001 and dated to around 4.25 billion years ago. The Nuvagitu Greenstone Belt, also known as the NGB, was discovered in northern Quebec. The rocks were dated using faux amphibolite, which is essentially just volcanic deposits. While the rocks themselves are undoubtedly very old, the actual age has been subject of debate, with other estimates aging them much older. After studying lead found in the zircon crystal, scientists found it to be the oldest geological item that we humans have ever found, estimated to be around 4.35 billion years old. It was found in Australia, and as you might have guessed, was given its name from the place it was found, in the Jack Hill Range. This rock, or rather crystal discovery, is very important for many reasons, but one more so. The elements found in the crystal suggest that it came from granodiorite, or tonalite, which could suggest that early Earth wouldn't have been too different from today. This goes against an original theory that early Earth would have been unlivable. Lunar Sample 67215 Whilst not actually formed on Earth, the Lunar Sample 67215 is the oldest rock on Earth. It was collected during Apollo's 16th trip to the Moon. This rock is in fact an anorthosite, which is believed to have formed early on the Moon's life. Interestingly, it seems to have come from a magma ocean. This rock is thought to be approximately 4.46 billion years old. The Acastonis, in general, is incredibly fascinating. Located in northwest Canada, it contains a variety of ancient, what's known as Archaean rocks. These rocks are called Archaean due to the time period with the same name. This was one of the geological time eras that took place 2.5 to 4 billion years ago. It was during this time that the Earth's continent started the early stages of their formation, and the building blocks were put into place for the inception of life on Earth for the first time. 
These rocks are extremely interesting, but also historically significant. Research in 2014 involved two scientists using a mass spectrometer on two different types of Archean rock. During this experiment, they measured different concentrations of elements inside the rocks. Once examined, it was found the rocks were in fact missing an isotope known as 142ND. This was the first time in recorded history that rocks from the complex didn't have this isotope. What's more, this discovery indicated that the place, thought to be a reservoir, in which the samples of rocks were tested, had come from, was formed around 4.3 billion years ago. This would make the reservoir from a period about 4 to 4.6 billion years ago, which would be the earliest era in Earth's history. What this means for the Canadian site is that part of it researchers were studying was actually formed very early on during the initial years of Earth's formation. This site came to be after the recycling of early crust into the lower mantle. This is supported by the understanding of plate tectonics throughout history. The 143 new geoglyphs on the Nazca Plain The Nazca Plain in Peru is home to the Nazca Lines, a collection of colossal etchings, or geoglyphs, in the desert area. They're completely shrouded in mystery, with very little known alluding to who, why, or how these geoglyphs came to be. It was only as recently as 2019 that the Yamagata University in Japan announced a team working on the university had in fact discovered a massive 143 previously unknown geoglyphs on the Nazca Plain. If that wasn't enough, they also used an artificial intelligence program in order to decipher and recreate an existing Nazca line this made it the first line to be identified by artificial intelligence. This discovery has been years in the making, with the team working on them studying them in different capacities for 15 years, from extensively analysing the satellite images, and also more recently carrying out actual field work on the lines. The artificial intelligence that was used to complete and identify the first Nazca line is a computer called Watson. Watson was given earlier identified Nazca lines to study, and then taught to identify them. However, this was quite difficult given the very limited amounts of previously identified carvings. This extensive process actually paid off massively because Watson managed to discover a potential 500 more geoglyphs that were previously not known. This artificial intelligence will be a very useful tool in the pursuit of identifying and understanding all of these strange etchings. The etching that was fully identified by Watson is almost comical, because it's eerily similar to modern cartoon characters, or something very close. It has distinctive features, such as hair, standing on two legs, and has a distinct item in its hand. The pursuit of understanding these famous glyphs has not been without its struggles though. Many obstacles have threatened to destroy or damage the ancient etchings. An unexpected bout of heavy rainfall damaged part of a hand glyph. A driver had veered off a highway onto one of the glyphs, damaging it with tyre marks, and there's continuous risk and danger of illegal mining and other activities. The fascinating discoveries we've spoken about today really encompass how important it is for us to continue the pursuit of knowledge. It unearths so many amazing artefacts, missing knowledge, and helps us in understanding the Earth. Today's discoveries in particular show us that many of the things we see and understand on Earth could possibly be applied to Mars, and help us to understand the solar system more. The Nazca lines are an incredibly huge set of etchings, and the lines themselves are a testament to human innovation and creativity, and this is still relevant today. So what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.